السلام عليكم How's everyone? How do you feel? Well, let me tell you this. This massive turnout is a testament that they will not be able to intimidate us, nor they will be able to silence us. We will continue to speak out, speak up for the Palestinian rights. We will continue to amplify their voices. We're not going to give up on them. We draw our resilience from their resilience in Gaza now. We draw our defiance from their defiance in Gaza now. If Israel has failed and will continue to fail to break their will, you will never be able to break our will here in America. In his war speech last night, the president started by saying, and I'm quoting here, we are facing an inflection point in history where the decisions we make today are going to determine the future for decades to come. We cannot agree anymore. Yes, this is an inflection point in history where humanity is being distinguished from evil. Mr. President, unfortunately, you have failed the test. You have failed the test. You have lied about your claim and your promise when you came to office that you're coming to restore America's moral authority. There is no morality in standing with genocide. There is no morality in apologizing for genocide. There is no morality in enabling genocide. Mr. President, your attempts to rewrite history are not going to work and is not going to work. Your lies about wisdom and your own wisdom are not, is not going to fly. You are not a wise person. You are not in a position to give an advice to a criminal government in Israel. Instead of advising them to learn from our mistakes after 9-11, instead of advising them to learn from our lies to invade Iraq in 2003, maybe you should start with yourself and learn from these lies. You're someone who was for the Afghan war. You're someone who was for the Iraq war. You're someone who's always perpetuated this machine, war and aggression worldwide. So instead of advising the Israeli government to learn from our mistakes, learn from your own mistakes. We invaded Iraq based on deceptions and lies. And you are lying today when you are claiming that it is the Palestinians who bombed their own hospital. You are lying when you claimed that you saw, you saw with your own eyes 40 Israeli children, beheaded Israeli children. The White House walked back your statement. You are still to apologize. The blood of Wadir is on your hands. You have fueled this bigotry. You have fueled this animosity. You have fueled Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. So shame on you. Shame on you. We will continue to stand with them and we will continue to stand against this genocide. And we will continue to hold this dysfunctional Congress that did not convene to serve the American interest, but it's coming together now to serve Israel. Shame on all of you. Shame on all of you. You don't speak for us. And Mr. President, you can kiss our voice goodbye. You don't deserve them. You don't deserve them. The hell with your moral authority that you promised us. The hell with you.